Hey artists, let's learn how to make stop motion animation using the iMotion app on the iPad or iPhone. Animation really means movement, so stop motion uses a series of photographs to create the illusion of movement. Movies like Coraline and Paranorman are great examples of stop motion. When you open the app, here's the screen you'll see. You can tap here to watch some fun examples. Also notice the help button. It is very helpful, trust me. Then when you're ready to start, you'll tap new movie. This is the screen that will come up. Before you hit start though, take a look at a couple of buttons here. See the one that says time lapse? That's not what we're using. It's super fun to play with, but not good for stop motion animation. You want to tap manual. That will allow you to take photos at your own speed. Now you're ready to start. When this screen comes up with the camera ready, the button you'll use to take pictures is capture. But before you start taking pictures, check this out. Tap tools. Then this fun stuff will come up. You want to pay attention to this square in the upper left corner. That's the onion skin and you must use it. With the onion skin feature, you can take a photo and then it will show you a ghost image of that last photo so you know exactly how much you want to move your character for the next shot. So cool. Now let's see it in action. So let's say I'm gonna make a movie about the three little pigs. First thing I need to do is I need to get a background. I want my background to be like the sky, so I found this blue piece of paper. You could also color it if you wanted to. Then I'm gonna set it down on a surface and I need to figure out where my camera is gonna go. You do not wanna just hold your camera with your hand and keep pushing the button to take the picture because it's gonna be very wobbly no matter how hard you try not to. So I'm gonna use this edge of my printer. I'm gonna set my camera right here on top of it and I have to let it hang over the edge so that it can see my background. Now if I let go it's gonna fall so you might have to put something up here like some books to weight it down or maybe tape it down whatever you need to do. I'm gonna put a box here on top of the edge so that it will hold it steady for me. I can still see the screen but it's just gonna hold it so that it won't fall. Okay now I'm gonna take my characters I've got my pig, I've got my house. I'm gonna set my house where I want it to be. Look in the camera and make sure that it's there and you can see it. Then I want my pig to walk in from the side. So I'm gonna set my pig where I want it and then I'm going to press capture, hit capture. Then I'm gonna move my pig slightly, press capture again, move my pig slightly, press capture again. Move my pig slightly, press capture again, move my pig slightly, capture again. And I'm going to keep doing that until it gets where I want it. Now, if I want other things to be happening, like for instance, if I want some clouds to be rolling by, I'm going to start off at the edge so they start off of the corner. If they just suddenly appear in the middle of the sky, like if I right now were to just put these clouds down and push capture, when I play the movie, it's going to look like these clouds just suddenly appeared. and It's going to look kind of weird. So maybe I'm going to start it off to the side press capture, and now I'm gonna move my pig and move my cloud, press capture, move my pig, move my cloud, press capture, move my pig, move my cloud, press capture. So you can see the more things you have moving, the more complicated it is, but also the cooler your movie will look. Now as you're filming, you'll sometimes wanna stop and see what you have so far. For that, you can tap stop or sometimes back, whichever one you see on the screen. And once you stop it, it'll ask you to tap it again to confirm if you want to stop capture. Yes, you do, so tap it again. Then you'll suddenly see your movie playing. Check out my mini movie of a pig hitting his head on a cloud. Ha! <laughs> it'll just keep playing over and over, so there's some things that you should know. Here's a slider that controls the speed. FPS stands for frames per second. See whatever speed looks best to you. You'll also want to tap tools again for play controls. That'll give you all the normal buttons of remote control, like this button that is play and pause. And there's fast forward to the end. And here's the button if you want to delete a frame, like if it's blurry or something. Now, super important, you must skip to the end before you resume filming. If you don't, your movie will get all out of order and you'll be miserable, sorry. So make sure you fast forward to the end and then tap the little camera here to resume filming. When this screen shows up, make sure it's still on manual and then you can resume. And look, the onion skin is still right where you left off so you know exactly where you were. How cool. Now, this whole process is super fun but it also takes some time. Like this 3.2 second movie, is 73 frames. But if you rush through it, it won't look good. Make sure each photo shows only very small changes 
and just don't let yourself get frustrated. Just be patient, make gradual changes, and have fun with it.